Yes, this is not a clickbait. This is an actual evening rush hour in Ho Chi Minh City. With more than 40 million motorcycles in a country with 100 million people, Vietnam is known as a country filled with motorcycles. The motorcycle culture is embedded as part of Vietnamese daily life. How motorcycle uh, become so popular in Vietnam and what are the impacts to the society and also the environment? Due to increasing cost of imported fuel and increasing popularity of cars, what is the future of the beloved two-wheeler vehicle? Let's take a ride on two-wheeled engine bike and understand of how motorcycle becomes the dominant mode transport in Vietnam. According to National Traffic Safety Committee of Vietnam, 93.9% of the vehicles registered in Vietnam in the year 2021 are two-wheeler such as motorcycles. Motorcycles were around since the French colonial era since the early 20th century but a motorcycle for the masses happened more than 30 years ago. Then why motorcycle become so popular in Vietnam, we need to look back into the history. The history of motorcycles in Vietnam began during the French colonization in the early 20th century. Motorcycles were a luxury in French Indochina due to the import costs and expensive fuel. And most people in the cities move around by bicycles or by bus or just walking. The most prized motorcycle brands were French made Mobilette and Italian made Vespa. The separation of Vietnam between 1954 until 1975 has developed two different markets for motorcycles from two sides of the world. Motorcycles in North Vietnam were mainly made in the Eastern Bloc uh, such as Soviet made Minsk and Czech made Babetta, while the motorcycles in South Vietnam were imported uh, largely from Japan, the brands such as uh, Honda, Yamaha and Suzuki. Relatively low household income, expensive imported petrol and the price that is out of reach uh, for many common Vietnamese made uh, owning a motorcycle a status symbol equal to owning a car. After the reunification of Vietnam in the year 1975, relatively little change happened on motorcycle market due to the post-war hardship. The fuel was rationed, import duty was imposed and only a few could afford to buy and maintain a motorcycle. It was the change in the economic system in the mid-1980s that the gas-guzzling motorcycles start to flood the Vietnamese roads. Doi Mui was introduced as a way to open Vietnam into the global market, allowing private ownership and foreign investment. As part of the openness policy, foreign motorcycle brands opened factories in Vietnam due to its sizable market, cheap labor and lower tariff of completely knocked down or CKD vehicles. In 1992, first Vietnam foreign-owned motorcycle factory was opened which produced SYM brand. Later, Suzuki started the factory production in Vietnam in the year 1995, Honda one year later in 1996 and Yamaha in the year 1998. Interestingly, some uh, motorcycle brands uh, that used to have high social status such as Vespa start also to locally assemble in Vietnam starting in the year 2008. In 1996, there were about 4 million motorcycles in the whole Vietnam. Eight years later, in the year 2004, there were about 43 million motorcycles, more than tenfold increase. In Ho Chi Minh City alone, the number of motorcycles jumped from 9.5 million to in 2001 to 6.8 million in 2005. Why is motorcycles become a main choice of transportation in Vietnam both in the major cities and the small villages? There are four factors of why motorcycle is so popular and reason number one is convenience. Motorcycles consume less road on the space, less fuel to run, less parking space and very flexible to move and park, advantages that car do not have. Motorcyclists have the convenience of moving from door to door or stop by the roadside to buy a food a la drive through and park easily in a dense city. The narrow alleys and congested roads are easily traversed by motorcycles and impassable by cars due to road narrowness. With such a convenience, motorcycle taxi is abundant, cheap and often faster than car taxi and bus. And you might be asking, I talk a lot about motorcycle and do you road one or become passenger at the back? The answer is, yeah I did. <coughs> 
In the city with more than 9 million people, Ho Chi Minh City is the largest Southeast Asian city without any rail transit system. Until 2024, a combination of prohibitively expensive car and patchy public transport network makes the motorcycle a primary choice to move around. And reason number two is because of the cost. Owning a motorcycle in Vietnam is cheaper than owning a car due to high import duty. The new car costs around 500 million to 1 billion dong for a brand new Toyota. In addition, the monthly cost of maintaining a car such as monthly installment, fuel and insurance is around 3 million dong or more depending on the car model. As a comparison, a job in the public sector pays around 3 million to 5 million dongs monthly. And farmers and hawkers usually earn less than that. Unless someone is a well-to-do businessman or secured a high-paying job in the city or being a top officer in the Communist Party where the state provides the car, owning a car is out of reach for many. Meanwhile, a brand new Honda motorcycle costs around 20 million dong or 824 US dollars, which is affordable for a salary man who saves about 500,000 dong or 25 dollars monthly for 4 years. The cost of maintaining a motorcycle is lower too. The price of petrol is about 24,000 uh, dong per liter or 98 American cent, which is 6.25% of the daily wages if the monthly income is 3 million dong. Imagine spending half of the daily wages just for 10 liters of petrol for a car. Furthermore, since the price of motorcycle is far lower than a car, often a motorcycle is paid by cash and seldomly financed via bank loan. There are 4 motorcycles under 15 million dong or 2,000 uh, US dollars in price accounts about 86% of the total motorcycles in Ho Chi Minh City. Number 3, there are bike lanes. In some roads and bridges such as Phu Mie Bridge, there are separate lanes for bikes to provide safety for the riders. Also, did you know that the motorcycle paid no toll nationwide? Other vehicles uh, including cars need to pay the toll. Number 4 is easy parking. Due to narrowness of the road and limited parking space, car parking is a headache. Not so by the motorcycle, it can be parked on many places. On the sidewalks, on the front of the shops, nearby a restaurant, next to the hawker stall or at night, in the living room, in the house. Motorcycle park neatly on the roadside and often there is an attendant to take care of the motorcycle uh, with the 2,000 to 5,000 dong or about 10 American cent to a quarter uh, for a, as a parking fee. A good example, a hotel where I stayed has a basement function as a bike parking. About 15 motorcycles could park in the basement in a space that could uh, fit only one car. One single car. Despite the advantages of the motorcycle, the vehicle contributes to the air pollution that fogged the cities in Vietnam, causing decline in health. Therefore, are there any attempts to reduce the number of motorcycles on the road so that the cities could be modernized? There are issues related to the motorcycles that need to be tackled, thus there were attempts to reduce the usage of motorcycles. Issue number one, traffic accident. More than 70% of the traffic accidents involving motorcycle drivers and riders due to the exposure and lower stability of two-wheel vehicles. Therefore, there were attempts to make people switch to cars. In a research conducted in the year 2017, it was found that cars were primarily used for business affairs and long-distance trips, while the other trips are easily done with the motorcycles. Despite the comfort, luxury and status given by a car, most car drivers still own motorcycles and will not stop driving it. Because of the heavy traffic and narrow roads, it is often more economical and faster to ride motorcycle than spend a lot of time and money in a car. I talked about the cost of driving in Malaysia in the previous video where owning a car is an expensive necessity. The link for the video will be appeared right here. Zoom. And the issue number two. Pollution caused by motorcycles Due to little technological advance in the motorcycle engine, motorcycles emit 12 times as much as carbon monoxide and harmful chemicals compared to cars. The air quality in Ho Chi Minh City is so low that the riders uh, wearing masks is a common occurrence. Reducing motorcycles theoretically may improve the air quality. And issue number 3, the wide usage of motorcycles hinders public transport expansion. 
According to the master plan for transport infrastructure in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City up in the year 2020, heavy investment of railways, metro system and buses should be done. With a vision of up to 50% of the trips were done by public transport. The year is 2023 and the metro construction is just finished and waiting for the opening day in the year 2024. Against all odds, actually the sales of motorcycles has been reduced going down since the year 2019. In the year 2018, 3.6 million motorcycles were sold. In 2021, only 2.8 million were sold, the lowest figure in 15 years. The reduced sales of motorcycles is not because of people buying more cars. The market is saturated. Almost everyone already have a motorcycle and there was pandemic which lowered the sales in general. Because motorcycle run on combustion engines are polluting the air and harmful for the health, what is the future motorcycle should be? Vietnam only produces about 30% of its total petrol demand. The rest of the supply is imported. Thus, a new clean and cheap fuel sources could reduce the reliance of increasingly expensive imported fuel. The seaside has a strong winds, so does in the central highlands. In addition, Vietnam has a number of hydroelectric dams. Therefore, Vietnam has a tremendous potential to harness the renewable energy sources. Electric vehicle is cleaner than petrol run vehicles which could reduce the fuel smog that blanketed Ho Chi Minh City. The air pollution in Vietnamese cities is so severe by that by 2030, Vietnamese government plan to limit the sale of petrol run motorcycles as well as the plan of banning non-electric vehicles in selected parts of Hanoi. Electric motorcycles could be the future of motorcycles in Vietnam. Unlike the petrol run motorcycles which are mainly Japanese brand, most of the electric motorcycles are local brands such as Vinfast, Pega, Depau and Anbico. The sale of electric motorcycle has increased from 163,428 vehicles in 2019 to nearly 237,000 vehicles in the year 2020 and 44% of these total electric motorcycles sold are Vinfast brand. However, the share of the electric motorcycle is still small, 200,000 compared to 2.7 million total motorcycles sold in 2020. It was reported that electric motorcycle is gaining popularity among the younger people and the women because automated gear. However, electric motorcycle need to improve its range and speed in order to gain more popularity. Most of the electric motorcycle has a maximum speed of 40 to 50 km per hour while Finfast Tion S model could reach up to 99 km per hour. Petrol motorcycles 140 km even faster. The range of single charge on electric motorcycle is 70 to 150 km which is enough for a daily commute for a week. Thus electric motorcycle is not so practical for a long distance trip. Not it not even enough for a trip from Ho Chi Minh City to Phan Thiet about 170 km away. The price of electric motorcycle is a hindrance too. The price of a new entry level electric motorcycle is about 20 million dong or 824 Uh, US dollars with 50 km per hour top speed and 80 km range. Compare that with a new Honda Wave with petrol, 140 km top speed and the petrol station is easily found everywhere with the higher speed and fa- uh, further range with the similar price tag. And the faster and longer range Vinfast Tion S model costs about 89 million dong which uh, or 3709 US dollars. Due to limited number of charging station, most of the electric uh, motorcycle owners charge the vehicle at home. It is suggested that to encourage electric vehicles in Vietnam, a holistic approach should be considered. Tax credit, te- technological transfer, increase of fuel tax and increase of charging station. As a conclusion, motorcycle is a cheap, convenient and if switch to electric and eco-friendly mode of transport. If you are in Vietnam, please convince as much people as you can to encourage electric motorcycle and uh, rather than a big and bulky cars. Don't let your beautiful cities clog up with the cars that cause traffic gridlock like what happened in Kuala Lumpur, Bangkok and Jakarta. What is your experience of riding motorcycle in Vietnam? You can comment down below. If you want to ride motorcycle in Vietnam, you should have a valid driving license and international driving permit or IDP for the foreigners. If you want to take a ride or motorcycle taxi, use Grab app for your safety and ability to pay in cashless mode. Helmet is compulsory including for the passengers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope we learn something new about motorcycles in Vietnam and why motorcycle is the primary choice to move around.
in the city and also in the rural areas thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video